Hi, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. One of the challenges of working on vintage synthesizers is the availability of obsolete parts. A challenge that I enjoy is coming up with replacements for some of these more obscure parts. A good example of this is the replacement for the ARP Octave Transpose switch that I made a little while back. So in this video I'm going to show the first of three replacement parts I'm releasing this month for the ARP Omni, Omni 2, Quadra, and Selena String Ensemble synthesizers. This particular part is specific to just the ARP Omni 1. If you've got an Omni 1, you know all about these push-button switches. Sometimes they work just fine. Other times you need to press the button at just the right angle to get the switch to latch. But oftentimes the latch breaks completely, and then you're hosed because the synth relies on that mechanical latch to enable whatever you're trying to turn on. I also often come across situations like this, where the latch seems to work just fine, but the switch contacts are dirty. And there seems to be no way to get the switch clean and working again. For the Omni 2, ARP changed to a more reliable, momentary style switch with an electronic latch implemented in the circuitry of the synthesizer. For Omni 1 owners, these switches present a huge problem because they've been obsolete for over 40 years, and the only place I know to get them is from other ARP Omnis. I have a large stash of ARP Omnis, and over the years as I've been cannibalizing switches from them, of course the thought in the back of my mind has been, what am I going to do when I run out? As you can see here, the ARP Omni that I'm working on today is missing all of its switches. So I finally decided to solve the problem. And this is what I've come up with. It's a drop-in replacement for the old switch. It latches mechanically just like the old switch. Except it's made from more modern and more reliable parts. It fits the original switch cap and when unlatched it sits at the same height as the original switch. The travel or the distance between the latched and unlatched height is a little less than the original switch, but otherwise it would be very difficult to tell it apart from the original once it's installed in the synth. Or you can do what I'm about to do here and just replace all the switches so they're all consistent. Here's the string control board with four of the new switches installed with the switch caps on. I'm going to see if I can power this board and show it to you in the synthesizer with these uh, tandem capacitors. If one of them fries, I'll just cut them out because I'm going to be replacing them anyway. And here they are installed in the synthesizer. You can see they all work easily with no fiddly having to hit it at the right angle required, like the uh, originals often did. And there we have it, replacement switches for the ARP Omni 1. You can get them on my website, synthchaser.com. Hopefully this will help a bunch of you get your Omnis working properly again, and we can get more of these beautiful sounding synths back out into action and making music again. I mentioned that this is the first of three products I'm going to be introducing. While this one was just for the Omni 1, the next two are for the Omni 1, Omni 2, Quadra, and String Ensemble, which all share common design elements. So stay tuned and I'll share those with you as well. This has been Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.